I know how to operate the cash machine. I know how to open it. <laughs> the long run. You get what I'm saying? I really got to fart right now. Let, let it out, man. All right. So good, <laughs> Don't look go. at me like a creep after it happens. <laughs> I'm literally about to fart on national. Oh, I felt so good. There you Excuse go. Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Ladies, I'm, I hope you still think I'm sexy after this because it doesn't really smell that bad. What is your skin type? Handsome. I'll be a dragon because I was born in 1988, and that's the year of the dragon. And on top of that, I spit that motherfucking flame. You dig me? You get me? I spit that fire. So I will be a dragon, motherfucker. What fucking shit? Wait to try to jump on an electric, electronic bandwagon. Go do whatever to get more money, right? What the f are you talking about? What are you talking about? What electronic? What are you talking about? Shut the f up. You said making good decisions. What's the best decision you've ever made? Man, staying handsome. Bro, we was just smoking mad weed and it was just like, it was amazing, bro. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's a gnarly situation. So it's just kind of hard to even try to describe, especially to sober people. <laughs> Those are exclusive high top Nike V Loan Air Force Ones that never came out. Sorry, give those to you? Actually, I stole them when I was at one of the stores. I just stole them. I was like, I'm taking these. Damn. What? How come you haven't done a Nike collaboration yet? Because Nike sucks. I'm just joking. <laughs> Damn. I usually tend to look at their skin, their teeth, their smile. And then after that, it's it has to start with, you know, great chemistry and, you know, great fashion, great sex. I, I swear to God, I will fuck you. <laughs> I will fuck you because you're all talk, honey. I know your type. You'll leave crying. It was sore. You know, you know she what? made me do it too many times. You literally run to the police crying. You, you want to know something? Yeah, go ahead. You know, you usually the police come looking for me, man. You know, just for murder, you know, because I kills the pussy. When you got a bag on stage, what's in it? All my shit, all the weed, all the, I guess, jewelry, wallet, more weed, yeah, shit like that. You need to smoke some weed. You don't smoke weed enough, I could tell. When's the last time you smoked some weed? It's off camera, don't worry. It's on camera. <laughs> so if you had a daughter, would you bring her up? How you bring up your son? I want to have a daughter, so, because I feel like if I have a son, I might, like, he might be too... He might be too, he might be too tea, man. He might be too lit. <laughs> Me and my son will party way too hard, so I want a daughter. <laughs> He's smoking. That's fire. We smoking at the building. I ain't even rolling. I ain't even finished rolling. He ain't like it all foul. Man, I do it run a mile. GQ beat the style. And you don't know the number. Don't pick up. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're somebody of, you know, status. Like, you should definitely wait till that call is ended and then check if, see if you got any text message history with that number before you pick up. Because it might be a prank or somebody you don't want to speak to. Word of advice, Flacco Facts. Oh, man. This is one of the worst outfits I ever wore. I was just, oh, f man. I mean, I don't really think there's nothing wrong with Gucci head to toe, but when you got the monogram and the GG all everywhere, you just look tacky. I, I ain't gonna lie, I look like I'm on my way to the ATM and scam some shit real quick. I'm about to go bust a check one time. How many times have you been in love? Why, are you single? No. <laughs> what would ASAP do on a first date? All right. On a, with a woman or a big booty shit? Uh, that I just a uh, A woman. A woman, I would pull out her chair. If I like her, you know, I would tell her the things that I feel on my mind. And, you know, I would do something romantic. For a chick, I would definitely try to get to the point and get some Yeah. And how do you feel about Tyler and his style evolution? His whole outfit is trash in it. That's why I'm like, damn, you gotta go to the next one. My boy definitely look like he work at, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to be a man in 2017? Man, it's, it's lit. It's to be the man in 2017. 
It's lit. <laughs> How do you lose pants? I can see losing everything else. I don't lose it. I just got friends and people who steal. I steal from them too, so it's okay. We all steal pieces from each other. Your word is your ball and I'll rap for you. I'll do it if you go on a date with me. I'm so serious. Well, I'm sorry. I'm cutting into the interview. He's just back there like, oh, this fucking guy right here, man. You could continue on with the story. I just, I'm sorry. I just wanted to know a bit about you since I'm telling you so much about myself. We were one of the first to start rec rocking mid tops for our era and shit. Beautiful. All right, oh, f that. I was the first motherfucker rocking Air Force Ones in 2010 and 11 and 12 and all of that modest shit, bro. Come on, bro. That was amazing. Is Janelle Monet single? When are we going to stop sleeping like, yo, Janelle Monet is... I don't think people are asleep. I think she's so... Eccentric. She's so amazing and intellectually above all of us peasants. It's intimidating. We can't even articulate the glow. Okay. So we just fold up. Hopefully, man, one day in my life I'll be ready for a lady like her because she fine.